Hello everyone, this is a quick review on Nilkin Fast Wireless Charger. This charger has been purchased for my husband and he needed one to take to his shed and uh, we're just going to give you our opinion really. Okay, what's in the box? The box actually comes sealed on both ends. So I've actually added the um, little label. This is the round label that actually comes on this side and the other side also has one too. I truly prefer all my items to be delivered sealed like this because it gives me the peace of mind that they're not returned ETC. So I'm happy with that. In the box, you get a cable. It's a micro USB uh, port cable. It's around a meter long, more or less, 3.2 feet. And you get some instructions that, to be honest with you, um, I haven't looked at them. My husband hasn't looked at them. And I'm sure you won't have to either. On this picture, I wanted to show you that the base does actually have a full rubber fit, which is great for protecting furniture and making sure um, it's a non-slip uh, when you put it on a surface. Uh, but also I need to mention that these rubber fit, they're actually part of the base. So it's not like four pads just stuck with glue. Um, when you actually fidget with them with your nails, like I've done, you'll see there's actually kind of a hole in the base and then um, the, the feet are there, which is good because the sticky ones do tend to come off sooner or later. So that's a plus. Size wise, this picture has just been taken to show you the size. This is my iPhone 10. Um, and just like my husband, as you can see here, we have um, the magnetic charger. Now we have this magnetic um, piece on our phones all day and then when we go to sleep at night we put our phones on our phone stand and then the magnetic cable just kind of magnetically sticks to the port um, so in for me instead of buying another pack of magnetic cables for my husband to take to his shed um, he said to me i don't want cables because when he's working with his bike etc he doesn't like to have more cables on the way so he said, I actually need a pad and at night time he can still use his, his magnetic charge. And then if when he goes to his shed, uh, to his man cave, he simply can place the phone on top of the pad and it charges. I also wanted to mention that this part here, I'll show you in another better picture, but this is all, um, it's like leather. Um, if it's real leather or PU leather, I'm not obviously sure, I could not test, um, but it looks good, the design is good. Okay, so I've taken this picture to show you. This part here is black plastic, I'm actually tapping it now. This part here is the one that has the light, which is also, it's like clear plastic. Um, clear, it's, it's not really clear, it's like um, cloudy plastic in clear color and then you have here a metallic color um, I think it's plastic as well but it's metallic as you can see shiny a metallic shade and then you've got the leather or PU leather base on the top I've taken this picture just to show you um, the width so this is again an iPhone 10 it's obviously a bit wider than the iPhone 10, but it's quite compact. Um, the surface of the pad, I do find it's generous compared to cheaper pads. Um, so, you know, my husband did like the fact that it takes a lot um, of surface of the base of the phone. Um, but thick wise, it's not too bulky. So in that, it's also a thumbs up. The connection is almost immediate. You can see here I've placed it on top and the battery is come on as it's charging. Um, it's not one of those pads that it's a funny play, like you place it on top and you need to make sure you're placing it 100% correctly because otherwise it doesn't charge. I've kind of played around with it um, a lot and it doesn't matter how you put it on top. As long as you put it on top, it charges. So that's definitely a thumbs up. So in here, I have my husband's phone on charge on top of his new, new um, wireless pad. And I've taken this picture to show you, this is the light that actually comes out of, it's all around 
um, the chart, the wireless pad. Okay, it's all around. If you have your wireless pad with no phone charging on top, there's no light. Uh, when you put your phone on charge, then the blue hue light comes on. I do have to mention this part here, the clear part. It's actually kind of a frosted white. I couldn't find the word for it um, on the previous picture. It's just come to my mind. It's a frosted white. The light is not bright, so it doesn't bother my husband because he wanted the wireless pad for his shed. Um, and I think that if we took it to the bedroom, it wouldn't actually bother us because the light is so um, such a hue, such so low. But if you're one of those people that can't sleep with a light at all, then this would not be the charger for you because there, there is a light coming all the way around. I do have to mention though, my previous phone um, to the iPhone 10 was a Samsung S7 Edge and I purchased the Samsung wireless charger uh, charging pad as well, original from Samsung and even that one has the light. And I think that the reason why they have the light is to let you know, hey, yes, I am charging. Um, so you kind of know that it's made connection and then it's charging through. But there again, if you can't stand any light in your bedroom for night time, then it doesn't matter that this one has a low light, it's going to bother you. So as you can see, this picture is super dark and that's the reason why um, I wanted to take it like this. The light's been turned off the flash of the camera has been turned off so you would get an idea of the exact uh, brightness of the blue it's it's very little bright the design also makes it be um, as you can see it's not level on the right on the edge it's kind of the under bezel so i don't think for me personally i don't think it would bother me a lot or at all uh, but there again you do need to be aware that the light is there just another, another close-up to show you, um, there again, this part here is a frosted white plastic, here we have a metal shiny plastic, here we have the leather or PU leather finish on the top and the black plastic on the bottom. The design's good, it's quite modern and my husband wanted it black because obviously in his shed he's always working with his tools and in his bike so he didn't want a white one that was going to look um, really old and disgusting without like with two days because he works with oils etc but he likes the design he likes that as soon as he puts his phone on top works and to be honest with you it does the job really good another good thing that I need to mention is that it's a fast charge because it's 10 watts of output so we get an idea our iPhone 10 comes with a um, wall plug a wall adapter with a charging cable okay that wall adapter that comes with our Apple phones, it's a five volt, one amp. So when we are charging our phones with it, they're only going to give us five watts. This pad, this wireless charger is giving you 10 watts. So it's already giving you twice the charge on a wireless mode. Okay, so I've taken this picture in case it helps anyone. Uh, basically, I'm the one that always opens the Amazon parcels. And when I saw my husband's wireless pad, I thought, okay, let's try it. So I tried it with my iPhone 10, <clears throat> excuse me, with my Ted Baker case. Now, Ted Baker cases, if you don't know them, they are quite bulky and um, they're very well padded and um, because they do protect your phone a lot. And when I placed um, the, the phone on charge on top of the wireless charger, it wasn't charging. So initially I thought it was because of the thickness of my case. So I thought, hmm, it's not gonna work with my husband's because if mine is thick, my husband's is much thicker. My husband even has one of them that I'll show you in the next picture. It's one of them that has a back cover, front cover, and then all together, one of those really bulky big ones. And it works on my husband. So it doesn't work because of this metal, um, it's like a laminate um, sticker of metal and I have that on my phone because I use these um, the picture here I've added I use these um, phone holder for my car and I have another one on my shed so when I'm doing any arts and crafts I just put the phone just there it gets stuck magnetically and it actually moves so 
but I want you to know if you are like me and in your case you have one of these little metal pieces um, so you use magnetic um, car phone holders you won't be able to use wireless chargers okay um, because the magnetic the metal kind of does something um, to it, it kind of breaks um, the charging on the phone it's no fault of the case no fault of the pad it's actually because of that magnetic piece attached to the back so just wanted you to know I'll show you my husband's phone case now which is much much thicker super thick which is so if we put everything together as a overall and you think that the price is good it's fast charge it's charging at 10 watts it's large the diameter is larger than most so your phone is on top of more surface um, the fact that when you put your phone on top because it's this um, leather or PU leather material your phone it's not a slippery surface it's not one of those plasticky ones um, that are very slippery it's not a small surface so you've got your phone resting on more space and as soon as your phone actually touches the pad it's charging you don't have to fidget with it um, on my Samsung one it, it was a nightmare because I had to put my Samsung down and then keep moving it to one side or another until I saw the light coming on um, so this one it's not a hit and miss it works perfectly now could we say that the only downside is the light um, if you don't if you want it for your bedroom and you can't sleep with any type of light at all then it might be for you but because in our case my husband needed it for his shed um, he doesn't care about the light furthermore the light is telling you hey I'm charging um, so it's fine so we would re my husband's happy with it he's not sending it back and it's a thumbs up for us thanks for watching